Thank goodness. R right. Considering everything that has happened to the city, I wonder if the citizenry is okay. Although, it seemed like we were the only ones able to see it. You know, the moment I disappeared, I honestly thought I was about to die. But... part of me wasn't afraid. I knew that was all I could do, and looked forward to apologizing to Father face to face. Honestly, I thought I had changed, but I realize now that I still have no control over my life. It makes me sick. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to deal with my whining. You're going to try and defeat that thing again, aren't you? Don't push yourself to get me to come along. You can always leave me here if I'll slow you down. That's... That's right. I was foolish to think you should abandon me. Even if there are times where I think there's nothing I can do... I'll never stop fighting for you or our team. I won't give up anymore. Just as I betrayed my distorted father before, I will betray my boring former self now. Thank you, Joker. Before I met you, I had great admiration for the Phantom Thieves of Justice. And it's turned out you were exactly the person I always imagined you would be. This is the second time you've rescued me. I've secretly longed for a situation like this. We haven't lost yet. Um... Um... Oh, Joker. Thank goodness you're safe. Oh, yeah. Huh. So, I'm not in heaven after all. That means the hell that Shibuya turned into was all real. <sighs> I'm so weak. When I thought I was gonna die, I... started trembling. I was just so scared. At that moment, nothing mattered. The justice of our actions was the last thing on my mind. Joker... You kept going, even through a plan that might have ended up killing you. Yet look at me. I've always said I'm doing this for other people. But that didn't get me far. <laughs> it's no wonder we lost. Maybe I should have just behaved myself and stayed out of all this. That's... You're right. I can never abandon her. If I whine like this now, I'd just be betraying Shiho. No. I'd be betraying myself. I could never forget how I felt that day. I... I never want anyone to have to go through what I did. I've made up my mind. 
I'm going to keep looking forward. Things like dying or losing aren't important now. All that matters is that I don't return to my old self. I'll never make a mistake like that again. I swear it. Thanks, Joker. You helped me remember what's really important. I seriously treasure being able to be a part of your team. Gotcha, Joker. It would be a disgrace to the Phantom Thieves' name if we didn't take such a big treasure. We're going to put an end to this, aren't we? Let's go! Hey! Hey! Joker, I'm relieved. Looks like we're both still alive. Am I really safe, though? Shibuya, what happened? And where are we? I see. I guess my fears turned out to be true. The real world is a scary place. Pain like this can never reach you if you keep yourself cooped up indoors. Who am I to think I can tell the people what to do? I mean, I used to be a shut-in myself. Damn it. I just want to go home. But even that would be tough now. Giving up would be too painful. You know, I think I've changed. I don't know when it happened. But I can't... I can't let people suffer like this, even if I don't know them personally. Honestly, this all seems like a bit too much. But... but... I... You're right. My heart has been set from the start. I don't want to run away from this. I ran from my mom's death for so long. I misunderstood it. Everything was just too painful for me to handle. But I never want to be left in the dark again. That's probably why my persona is a little bit special. Because I want to learn the truth. That's how I really feel. Well, I've come this far. I'll follow you wherever you go, on my own two feet. You have such a strong heart, Joker. You saved me yet again. Thanks. I'm so happy. Like, so much that I can't even express it in my normal words. Anyway, we're going up against a god. I couldn't even leave my own room before, but now we're gonna beat a god! I'm so pumped! And wait a sec. I just noticed I got out of here on my own. A real jailbreak! Whoa, you're quick to act. That's what makes you dependable. Alright, time to get back at it! Huh? What?
What is this place? Who are they? My name is Igor. I am the master of the Velvet Room. I am Lavenza, a resident of this place as well. We have been waiting for all of you. Velvet Room? My master has just been released from a long period of imprisonment. His powers have not fully returned. Though it may be presumptuous of me, I will speak on his... Hey, where's Morgana? Would you like to see him? He's right over there. That's where you were hiding? I... was born here. It was to dispel an evil being from man's spiritual world. Mona? My role was to find the trickster and help him defeat it. That's why I was created here by my master. Indeed. I really remember everything. When this place was about to be taken over, my master gathered the last traces of mankind's hope. He mustered up his remaining strength to make me. The entity that calls itself a god is a malevolent will that forces man into everlasting servitude. It hopes to attain eternal peace by filling reality with those who have stopped thinking for themselves. That is the ruin of man that this evil god envisions. I... um... don't get what you're saying at all. Oh, be quiet and listen! We don't have much time left! W wait a moment. The Holy Grail is... a god? I was wondering why it had a will of its own, but... Are you implying that it isn't a treasure? No. As the distorted desires of the masses, it is most certainly the core of Mementos itself. Then, did the treasure become a god because people wish to be ruled over? That is correct. To decide the fate of the world, it chose two people with potential and pitted them against each other. One, Goro Akechi, incited the masses distortion. Had he won, the world would have been destroyed and remade. The other was a trickster who would stand up against this. That was him. If he won, the human world would be left as is. Those were the conditions of the game. At least, that's what should have happened. That malevolent being knew that a revolution would not occur within indolent humans. After all, it is the masses distorted desires incarnate. However, my true master believed in humanity. He believed that a trickster would rise among the people and accomplish this change. But that evil entity laughed at the prospect and sought to prove the powerlessness of man with the game. And he had great potential, which is why it approached him. It helped train the trickster only to cast him into despair, using the masses who rejected their savior. This was likely its means to nip in the bud anything that would pose a threat. Now that I think back to when I was separated, I felt a disagreement to the word rehabilitation. Of course I did. It was just a means for the fake to keep you under surveillance. Basically, this guy was dragged into a game where the evil god rigged the outcome. Damn it! What the hell? Your real world has already been fused with mementos. You do not exist because reality is replete with the cognition of those who deny the Phantom Thieves. It can be said that the world is one step away from the evil god's machinations. However, there is still hope. Now that the evil god's identity has been exposed, you can see your rehabilitation to its completion. O 
only you can leave this prison and save this distorted world and its captive people. Young man, guided by Morgana and worthy of the trickster name, you must challenge the evil god and reclaim your existence in reality. Are you up to the task? Let's destroy that annoying shiny treasure jerk for sure this time! <laughs> Excellent. There is nothing to fear. You already possess the strength to oppose this evil god. <laughs> I am truly looking forward to this. Our mutual friend knows where the exit is. Morgana, please guide them. And thank you for all that you've done. It's a cruel responsibility that's been cast upon you. I will accept your words of appreciation fully when everything is over. Now follow me! Joker! Shibuya again? Oh, right. This is where we were when our bodies disappeared. Seems like people still haven't realized that this abnormality has taken over the city. Look, the door we just came through. If I remember correctly, this is that quarantine cell. That's right. It was actually the Velvet Room which had been swallowed by the distortions. You did say you were born in there. It makes so much sense now. Wait. So if we came out of there, does that mean we're the criminals? No, it's more like him, since he was kept in here. Most likely, Joker had been under the malicious guidance of the evil god for quite some time. The Velvet Room originally existed to nurture the human mind, but after it was taken over, it was sealed inside that bastard's nest. Inside Mementos. Uh, Mona? More importantly... You're shining. It's probably because my memories have returned. I know what my duty is now. <clears throat> Whoa. Do you see something? Shining? Wait a sec. What, what's with those weirdly dressed guys? I feel like I've seen those costumes before. Oh, aren't they the Phantom Thieves? I kind of remember seeing a silhouette of them on a jumbo screen in the city. The Phantom Thieves? Oh yeah, that's right! I, I completely forgot about them! This is different from how it was before. Do they see us? It doesn't seem to be everyone, though. Only a handful of people in this large crowd. Maybe it's Kazumona's light. Either way, they remember the Phantom Thieves! Oh, the Key of Hope. Mona, guide us. Where must we go? Over there. The bastard from earlier should be in that temple. 